All right, this is lesson 123 in Simple Solutions. We're going to start off with a volume question. Uh, and because this is not a rectangular pyramid, um, I need to separate it into two equal parts. So the top layer is six centimeters by six centimeters by one centimeter. And the bottom layer is 12 centimeters by six centimeters by two centimeters. And so I would need to figure out the volume for each of those. Six times six times one is gonna be 36. Um, six times two is 12. 12 times 12 is 144. And when I combine those two amounts, I get 180 cubic centimeters. All right, number two, I am subtracting fractions. I've got two-thirds minus four-tenths. First thing I notice is my denominators are different, so I'm going to think about my multiplication facts. Um, I know that three and ten will both multiply to thirty. Three times ten is thirty. Two times ten is twenty. <clears throat> ten times three is thirty. Four times three is 12. When I subtract, I get 8 thirtieths um, as my answer, which can be simplified. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So number 3, I am rounding to the nearest thousandths place, which is the 2. So I'm going to look to the number to the right. I see that it is 5 or more, so I'm going to add 1 to the thousandths place, all other digits stay the same. All right, number four, which triangle, <clears throat> which is a triangle with no line of symmetry, and that's gonna be that last one there. Number five, I've got a subtract, sorry, a division problem. 38 and 2 tenths divided by two. Two can go into three one time. One left over, bring down the eight. Two can go into 18 nine times, zero left over. Bring down the two. Two can go into two one time with zero left over. And then I'm going to line up that decimal point. So again, just like on yesterday's, if I follow along, I can see that this pattern is going to continue. So that means 12 pins sold is going to equal $24. And 14 pins sold is going to equal $28. For number seven, I am comparing one and three, one and 34 hundredths to one and 64 hundredths. So I start, I see that they both have a one. I look to the tenths place, and I know that three is less than six. For number eight, I'm just writing an expression, multiply 14 and eight. <clears throat> sorry, 14 and 18, then divide by 6. You could have also written it this way. Either option works there. You can put parentheses if you want, but they are not necessary. Number 9, at Sam's birthday party, two cakes were shared equally among eight children. What fraction of a cake did each child receive? So we have the two cakes being shared by eight children, and that actually does simplify to one-fourth. So each child would get one-fourth of a cake. All right, for number 10, I'm going to use this model here. It says that Coco had one and, and three-fourth pizzas, and she gave half of it away. Um, first thing I'm just noting is that it takes eight slices to make a whole. So I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm just going to count one half of the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So not quite a whole. So that's going to be seven-eighths of a pizza. All right, what ordered pair represents point U? Well, I'm going to walk along the bottom to the two. And since the U is right there, that means that your Y coordinate is going to be zero. 
All right, number 12, Layla ate five cookies for a snack today. Her brother ate two and four fifth cookies. How many more? So I know this one is going to be subtraction. The problem here is that I've, I'm, I've got nothing here to subtract from. So what I have to do is I need to go ahead and regroup. So I'm going to take one whole and then trade it for five-fifths. And I'm taking five-fifths because this denominator is five. And so it just makes sense to pick an equivalent fraction that also has five as the denominator, and that makes it easier to subtract. Five take away four is one. The denominator would stay the same. Four take away two is two. All right, number 13, I'm multiplying by a power of 10. 10 to the power of one. So that means I'm just gonna move that decimal one place to the right. So my final answer is 433 and 510. All right, so again, we have two expressions that we have to match to a story. <clears throat> Number 14 says, Carmine splits a third of a leftover cake among his three friends. How much of Carmine's cake is eaten by two friends? So it's only talking about two thirds of his friends and they're gonna get one third and so some form of that, multiplication says I can flip numbers around. So the best answer for number 14 is B. Therefore, the best answer for 15 is A.